Okay, so for this class, uh, because we had mo we had our obstacle course ready as far as drawing it on a piece of paper, we we thought it was necessary to start drawing out our um, our actual obstacle course on the the brown paper. Um, so what we started off doing before class um, is uh, picking out which government. Um, government buildings we wanted to do, we decided not to do go uh, government people only because it would be a lot confusing and it might be a lot to take in at once. Um, but at the same time, I think it is important because from the top of my head, I can't even think about who are the leaderships in our country. So I think from a young age, they are taught that, but they should be taught consistently throughout because it's important to know. Um, so yeah, we started drawing out our obstacle course as well. So, uh, we had a lot of supplies. For today, we only used the ruler and and pencil, so we don't make a mistake. Uh, we cut the, we cut the brown pieces of paper up, so we knew knew exactly what uh, how much space we had to work with um, and what to do from there. Um, and during this class, we we um, it, we did the webcam. Um, with the YDSB, uh, YDSB, sorry. Um, so basically, um, each group went up and a con um, addressed their questions. Um, and I feel like, like our group, we left a little bit more confused than we actually were at the beginning. Um, I just feel like the instructions were a little unclear, and and it's of course it's because they hadn't done this before as um as well as this is the first class trying to do this so it, it was really like unclear um especially like if we have to focus more on the op like spheral running the obstacle course or like and like a lot of the reason why we we are concerned at this point is because our spheral doesn't seem to want to run the same every time and we don't want to get to like the last class and then have it run completely different so we have to make sure that when like we have to make sure that when we map our um our diagram oh like part of it is gonna be like a black pathway and we have to make sure that it's big enough so then in case it doesn't go the right way it still goes on the pathway we're thinking about six six to ten inches um and especially like for children who are in grade five, say they were, uh, they had an obstacle course or they were creating one, um, and it didn't go as it should, it would be very frustrating, especially if you're doing the same thing every time. So I think um, we have to make it a little bit wider, um, as well as um, just keep just trying to figure out what we're doing wrong if we are doing something wrong. Um, or if it's just a sphero or what's going on there.